Welcome to CSET Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. You can find us online at tcp-academy.teachable.com. In this short video on CSET Biology review, we're going to be looking at an animation of the carbon cycle. Let's go. Carbon is found pretty much everywhere in our environment. It is considered that about 0.03 to 0.04 percent of carbon is in the air. This concentration might change depending on the temperature of the day and whether or not we pretty much disturb our water bodies. Now the carbon in air pretty much moves through the ecosystem and it gets into the living world through photosynthesis a process called carbon fixation. The plant uses this carbon dioxide to, of course, produce glucose, and that uh, glucose is pretty much moved through the ecosystem as simple as we would have it a food chain. Now, all the organisms in the food chain, they are also respiring and they are also giving off carbon dioxide. It must be noted that the carbon cycle is not the carbon dioxide cycle. So the emphasis here is pretty much the movement of carbon within the carbon cycle. So we would have carbon moving from the air into the plant through photosynthesis, a process called carbon fixation. The carbon is then moved in a chemical form into the herbivore, then carnivore, so on and so forth. They're also respiring and giving off this carbon uh via respiration and of course ultimately these organisms will face environmental resistance as such they'll die as soon as this happens they are going to be uh, greeted by decomposers which are our fungi and bacteria and these organisms are going to be breaking down the dead organic remain to release carbon dioxide and other nutrient that was trapped in these organisms the remains that are not pretty much decomposed, acted on by the decomposer, they'll go through a process called fossilization under high temperature and pressure. And of course, they'll form what is called fossil fuel. Now, fossil fuel will contain carbon. Now, the carbon in the fossil fuel will eventually be burnt or go through a process called combustion, and that too will return carbon to the air. So it is important to note here, carbon cycle is not the same as the carbon dioxide cycle. While carbon dioxide might owe the element carbon, we are actually looking at the movement of carbon within the ecosystem. I do hope that this video provided some help in understanding the cycle. And uh, if you have any issue, you can always replay the video however many times you so find it fit. Thanks much for watching and please be reminded to like, share and of course subscribe. When you subscribe click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. Thanks again for watching. I am Mr. Wilson from CSEC Biology CP. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today.